Hello and welcome to our video tutorial series. In this tutorial we will learn how to create a PEM file for the push notification or .pem file for the push notification using the simple terminal. A single one line command to create that certificate and for this let's get started. Just log into your developer.apple.com account portal. This is a paid membership portal and it takes $99 per year as a subscription fees. So if you log into your account, you will see a dashboard like this. Tap on Certificate Identifier and Profiles. So I am assuming that, that you, are uh, you are familiar with the identifiers. So if your app identifier is already created, you can check whether the push notifications are enabled for it or not. So you can check it by using by tapping on app IDs. And suppose I want to check the app for the push notifications. The identifier is this one. So here the services are listed that which are enabled. So game center and in app purchase is by default. Now for push notifications is here configurable. So this means that this is enabled but the certificate is not created for the same. So when I click on edit, I navigate to bottom of the screen. Here you can see the check mark. If I uncheck it, it asks that whether you want to disable push notifications. If I press OK, then you can see that this is disabled for this identifier. So enable it. And here you can see there are two certificates. One is development and one is production SSL certificate. Development certificate is used to connect your app to the sandbox sandbox push environment of the Apple and so that it can deliver push notifications to you while you are in sandbox mode or you, while you are developing your app. Whereas when your app is live you can you have to create a production SSL certificate. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create development SSL certificate. The process is same. There is no single difference in creating those certificates. So let's start. Create tap on create certificates or click on. Now here it says to create a CSR file. So certificate signing request file. We have to create it. You can sorry. You can create it using keychain access. Go to keychain access on top menu on right side to the Apple logo and certificate assistant and then request a certificate from a certificate authority. Put it to your email address here. And save it to this. You can change the name also. So save it. Let's say that it's already placed. We will replace it. Show in Finder, and now it's showing that this is placed here. Now we will ask, click on Choose a file. We will select Certificate Signing Request. Press Continue, and here our certificate is created. Now here you can see this is Apple Development iOS Push Services certificate for the app with identifier this one. Download it. And double click to get installed into Keychain. So here in Keychain, we can see that this certificate is installed. This is the old one. Let me remove it. So this is our certificate created. So now how you can figure out that whether which is development push certificate or which is production push certificate. So here you can see here it's push services. It's the development written here. So this means that this certificate of push is for the development mode. And here the push, Apple push services certificate is for the production. There is no production written only for the development. There is development in the name. Tap on the arrow, select the key, and then export to items. So name it as 
push cert you can name it as bin and we will save it to desktop so its format is .p12 we will save it it's ask for password you can specify your password we will leave it as blank and it gets imported so here when we look at desktop here it is now to create the certificate we will use terminal so we will go navigate to them using cd change directory and we will drag this folder here and now we will tap the command this one so so it's saying please enter the password so here you have to enter the password that is you, you used for the importing since we use blank password we will enter here and test create so this is the tutorial how to create push certificate.pam file you can use it if you like the video then please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you